What's up guys, as you can see, I'm kinda sunburned right now. I've been at the beach. Apple announced a new iPhone, the iPhone SE. I almost wanted to call it the 5SE, uh, but it pretty much is like an iPhone 5S. The design is pretty much exactly the same, but uh, there's a few changes on the inside and on the outside a little bit here and there. Uh, so I figured I'll cover it in a video for you. Uh, so that's what this video is about. What's new in the iPhone SE? First off, it now comes in rose gold, so if you wanted that option, you can have a pink iPhone. Not really rose gold, it's more like pink, but whatever. It also now has Touch ID, so you can use the fingerprint scanner to unlock your phone, as well as Apple Pay if you wanna pay for stuff with your iPhone. And you can have the same small design of the iPhone 5 and 5S. And that's really why Apple did this, because there's still actually a lot of people that want that smaller design. Those people haven't updated the iPhone 6S or 6S Plus just because they don't want a bigger phone. They still want that small design. I don't know why they want it because I feel like the iPhone 6 at least is like the perfect size even though I use the plus I still like that just for the camera and everything. But yeah there's still a market for people that want a smaller iPhone. The new iPhone SE unfortunately I guess for some people uh, doesn't have 3D touch but they did add live photos to it and the way it works is kind of the way 3D touch could have worked anyway. Uh, you just tap your finger on the screen and you hold it just a little bit longer uh, instead of actually pressing it in so you don't get the vibrating or anything like that uh, but you still get the live photo effect and you can take live photos from it. Uh, so yeah, no 3D touch, so you can't press the screen in. I don't know about you guys, but like I never use 3D touch. And it's not like I do it on purpose or I don't like it, it's just I never remember to do it. I just open up the app and I, I don't even think about it, I forget. The camera on the back of the phone, the iSight camera also got an update, which is now 12 megapixels. Uh, so that means it'll now shoot 4K video, so you can shoot and edit 4K video uh, on the iPhone SE. They also added the True Tone flash to the back, so it's better a uh, flash for your iPhone when you take pictures. Now take a look inside the iPhone SE and you'll find Apple's A9 chip, which is actually not their fastest chip out. They do have the A9X, uh, which again is a good bit faster, but if you're upgrading from an iPhone 5 or a 5S, you are gonna notice a huge difference on the SE because it's actually supposed to be two times faster CPU performance uh, than the iPhone 5S and three times the graphics performance. So that's a pretty good bump right there. You're definitely gonna notice that. You'll also find Apple's M9 chip, which is their motion code processor. It's the latest version of that. It also has the Hey Siri feature, so you can say Hey Siri, whether your phone is locked or unlocked and it'll hear you, so it's like always listening. Now as far as the battery life on the iPhone SE, I'd assume that you'd probably get about the same as the iPhone 5S, just because it's the same design and probably the same size battery, but Apple actually claims that you're gonna get better battery life on the SE uh, than you do actually on the 5S. It's not really too much of a difference, but when it comes to battery life, obviously, uh, if we can get a little bit more, we're gonna take it. Now, as far as the pricing on the iPhone SE, uh, this is actually Apple's cheapest iPhone yet. You can get it for 400 bucks for the 16 gigabyte model, and then if you want the 64 gig, uh, you can get that one for 500. When is the iPhone SE coming out? On the 24th of March, uh, you'll be able to go ahead and pre-order it, or you can just wait a little bit uh, on March 31st. It'll actually be available in store for you to pick it up. Figure out those in there too because I'm sure some of you guys like missed the event or just didn't hear the announcement uh, but the Apple Watch also dropped in price today it's now 300 bucks for the cheapest model so if you want to pick one up now is the cheapest and best time to do so uh, which I wouldn't say do it I don't really like the Apple Watch that much I've got mine and I don't wear it at all uh, yeah they also announced some new bands too you can get like some new nylon bands uh, they have a space gray like Melanie's loop and then also some different colors of like their leather and sport bands and stuff like that so some new Apple Watch bands and it's cheaper all right so there you go that's what's new in the iphone se uh, leave me some comments down below and let me know what you guys think about this i have a feeling like a lot of people are probably kind of let down to this just because it wasn't like anything new it's just the same recycle design and they just threw some new chips in and it's like hey here's a new iphone but people are going to buy it and i'm sure it's going to be super successful so good job apple <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, uh, click the link right there, do it. Uh, subscribe to it so you don't miss any of my future videos. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Check out my iPad Pro video. I did a video like covering all the new features on that. Uh, they also announced that today. Uh, so go check that out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and peace.